I was elected mayor in 92. Right outside the window of my office was an old factory site. It used to be the old Simmons Mattress Factory. They then moved out and American Motors took over that site and actually built cars. The site grew out, um, expanded over the years, and it eventually covered a 70-acre site. When Chrysler made the decision to stop making cars in Kenosha, the site was bulldozed and left vacant. So in the heart of the downtown, um, overlooking the lake, you had a 70-acre site that was basically uh, all gravel and concrete with a fence around it that no one could get into. Uh, and it was something that, from my opinion, could not stay that way. Brownfields are old factory sites that are polluted and empty. And so what we attempt to do is to go in and to clean up those sites for redevelopment purposes. So that's what a brownfield would be defined as. The state of Wisconsin had not done much on brownfields, nor had the country in actuality at that point in time. And so we were one of the first getting involved in cleaning up a brownfield site and redeveloping it. So it was a project that we started because it's a necessity for communities for growth to not have vacant sites in the central part of the city um, undeveloped. My hope is to pretty much get the Harbor Park site set um, and, and finished up other than one site. One site will be left for redevelopment yet, and I don't anticipate that for two years to happen. Exactly. Harbor Park, I was able to move Harbor Park along starting in December of, of 1994. For Harbor Park to be finished will take a total of probably 16 years. Uh, right now there are two parcels of land left to be developed. There's over 450 units on the site now, uh, two museums, a streetcar system, and a marina. So we've done quite, a, quite well. And then a fair amount of open land for public walkways, fountains, plazas, those type of activities that are around the lake because we wanted to make sure that the lake was always open to the public and we've been able to do, accomplish that with this project. I, my biggest frustration is that it's always too slow. These types of projects are not fast projects. They are projects that do take a long time. They're very complicated and they are um, nice challenges, but it's uh, my biggest probably uh, aggravation would be is the period of time it takes to actually make it happen. 